Imagine a year where it's predicted that New York is an awful place to live in 2022. And they get it pretty correct, <laughs> wow, actually. Wow. It's pretty spot on. That's 22, wow. That's yeah. a good prediction. Uh, what year is that, Sandro? The year is 1973. Oh, getting any easier. Oh god, where am I? Oh, somehow this is worse than the last location. Oh, it smells awful. It's like a, a rat with pizza just running around. Like, what? Oh, uh, wait. Am I in New York? Hey, pal. Welcome Whoa. to New York. Whoa. It's Christopher walking? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's just a word. But it's presumed. just Gerald. Ge oh, hey, Gerald. Nice to meet you. Um, where am I? Who are you? I just said I'm Gerald. Yeah, you know what? I fell right into that one. Where am I? You're What's in up? New York. Have you have you happened to see a strange, deranged man named Sandro denying that reality is a giant coma? He's on top of that car. Oh. Cowabunga dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dressed as a ninja turtle. Yeah, no, that checks out. What bam! <laughs> Hey, totally radical bros. Who oh. wants some pizza, man? <laughs> I hope it's not from that rat over there. <laughs> what uh. the fuck's a Ninja Turtle? <laughs> Look, uh, you'll find out in the future, I think, maybe. I don't know. Wait, if I'm in a coma, you're a figment of my imagination. Surely you know what the Ninja Turtles is, right? This is a part of your coma that <laughs> doesn't know what Ninja Turtles are. Uh, is that your specific thing? Is you are the, the part of my brain that doesn't know that Ninja Turtles exist? Exactly. Okay, that makes sense. This is why I didn't know who you were. Hey, I'm walking in. Oh my god. I hate this bit. Um, Only you can stop it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. It's Only all in your power. mind. Okay, I need to figure this out, because we need to record another podcast, Sancho. I think. I'm not sure if I need to at we all. We're going to record it without a break. No break. I'm a ninja turtle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. So I'm going to have to manifest you as something else other than my one part of the brain that doesn't know what the ninja turtles are. Whoa, it's the personification of the part of your brain that doesn't know what ninja turtles yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, but I need to change that. I need to change it to something else. Do you have any ideas, Sandro? No, I can't think of it. Just pick a random name and make the person turn to that. Oh, I thing. know a good one. You're constipated, my man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much pizza. Yeah, too much pizza. Look, New York pizza will do that to you. That's right. Whoa. Oh, goodly, goodly fucking gracious. Yeah. <laughs> It's me, I'm Zach Rose. Whoa! Whoa. It's Zach Rose, of Wait, course. Wait, Zach, you were like, I need to turn this part of my brain into a person to be on the podcast, and you picked someone called Zach? Yeah, obviously. That's the best name to pick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How you doing, Zach? I'm good, Zach. How are you oh, doing, Zach? I'm great, Zach. Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop it, my yeah, man. Yeah, this is my mind. These are my <laughs> rules. Uh, Zach Rose is here in Zach's brain, but we're not in Zach's brain. We're actually traveling through time in 1973. It's still a coma, There's no you such can't thing stop as a coma. Comas. There's no such thing as a coma. Zach Rose, do you believe in comas? <laughs> comas happen. Comas are canon. <laughs> are they? <laughs> Uh, don't, like, don't argue with him on this point. There's no point. He's like a brick wall. I've been trying this whole season. It's the US government. They're lying to you. <laughs> what has this got to do with the US government? They're lying to you. Wasn't there that oh. young adult novel where the, the lady, she was in a coma and she was like trying to tell her parents that she loved him or whatever? What? Yeah. <laughs> Perks of being in a coma? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the one. That's the one. <laughs> Welcome to Oldie But A Goodie. <laughs> We're reviewing Soylent Green. Yeah, speaking of a repressive government that doesn't want to tell you things. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
It's Soylent Green. Soylent Green is we're gonna do non spoilers and then spoilers, but you probably already know the spoilers. But we're gonna try and not talk about it. Zach, going into this movie, did you know the spoiler? I did know the spoiler. Because <laughs> everyone knows the spoiler. <laughs> it's one of those cultural osmosis things. Yeah, you can't not know the spoiler. Like I've never seen Fight Club or Seven, but I know yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And so that initially de incentivizes me to go and watch said movies because I already know the twist. That's true. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. being said, after watching this, I was like, huh, this was pretty good. This was a good time. Even though I knew the whole thing, it would have been better, I feel, if I didn't. Yeah. But even knowing it, I still think this was good enough to, like, go out and watch. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll say it. You should watch movies. Um, but also the rest of the movie, the, the scenario we're in, the, like, post-apocalyptic crumbling society yes. that we live in in some sort of world where like there's this global heating up or something something I don't know like what to that call it. everything's dying yeah there's like all these animals dying there's overpopulation yeah. the housing prices are through the roof but the rich the are still profiting this, yeah they got their yeah, hotels they're profiteering and everything yeah like very unrealistic i feel i don't think it, yeah this is but Fun, fun fantasy time, you know? Fun fantasy time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun fantasy time. It looks fun to me. Did you see that guy being like, oh, Soap! Oh my god, <laughs> this is good. He was having a great time. He was having a great time. It looked good. So, it, was, it was orange. Yep. Yeah. It was orange soap. It was orange. You're right. <laughs> it might have smelled like grapefruit, for all Ooh. we know. I do love grapefruit. And That's one of my favorite fruits. Fruit. Yeah. Zach, what did you think of this one? This- Other Zach. <laughs> Other Zach. Um, oh, no, so me? <laughs> no. Say other Zach, do you mean me? <laughs> well, in the hypothetical, though, where in your mind, obviously, you're Zach 1. But comas don't exist. But if they were to exist, you would be Zach 1 because we're in your head. Okay. So, Zach 2, what did you think? Have you noticed the name Cheryl sounds like Chair L? Yeah. Chair L. Yeah. Which, and we're sitting on chairs yeah. right we're now. We're sitting on chairs. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is that the <laughs> okay. the, the women in this film are treated like objects. Oh, and her name mm. is... Sh- right. She Cheryl noticed that. Cheryl. 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 Mm. Makes I you think. I noticed it now that you pointed it out to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's so true. But no, I, I love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It was so because incredibly... women's were objects? Is <laughs> no. that why you like the movie? I see okay. why. Okay, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> that's, well, a, that's a bold take have, to start the podcast with. Ask the wrong person on this one. <laughs> I think you got the wrong lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Women are objects? What a great movie! Um, <laughs> but it was just... It was, it was really dark. Um, yeah. Mm, yep. Yep. I like Charlton Heston. He's a, he's a good leading man. I trust yep. him. You trust I, I him? trust him. Even <laughs> actually, no, no, no. He's he's an asshole. Yeah, he but, sucks. Like he, but he he's an asshole in everything. So well, it's sure. like, I mean, that's you how trust he trust him to be an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if we're um, if if I'm in danger, I trust him to maybe help me if possible. As, as long as he ha- uses his asshole powers for good, yes, mm. then then that's good. Yeah, for sure. But you enjoyed the movie. That's good. That's good. I did. I think this movie is pretty, pretty damn good as well. Ooh. I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I saw it because I love sci-fi from the 70s. And this is a good sci-fi from the 70s. Absolutely. They're very clearly inspired so many sci-fis from the 80s. Yeah. Yes. That are maybe better, but still pretty good. Yeah. You yeah. Know? This one, this one was surprisingly good. And it's mm. again, it's one of those movies that I never would have probably seen without doing the podcast yeah. because I know the spoiler and because there's so many movies to watch in one's lifetime it's yep. just very low on my list of things to view but something I've always wanted to see and I'm very glad I saw it yeah there is one scene that genuinely surprised me though and that oh, yeah. is I'm not not spoiling yet yeah. but mm-hmm. I'm saying the going home scene is one oh. of the most beautiful things it's pretty, it's pretty I've ever seen okay it's pretty good it's it was good. it was dark it was scary, but it was also mm. like it was nice and pretty. Yeah, mm. that's true. I think yeah, the visuals pretty much for this whole like this cost fuck this was so cheap. Yeah, uh, they did pretty wow. well with what they had. Like yeah. I liked how um uh, uh, a radioactive green in New York is just regular New York with a green little filter filter <laughs> over everything. <laughs> yep, and you can tell it's a filter because whenever the camera pans, the smudges don't move. <laughs> Small <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> 
was great. I like how they used tractors in this. That yes. that was really cool. Mm. Pretty good stuff I, all around. I liked the multiple uses of the dump trucks. Mm. Oh, that they used them for like transport and also security crush vehicles. Yep. No well, spoilers. I had some questions. Uh-huh. So like uh-huh. so there is there is a these. sequence where yeah. people are in a in a protest for yes, yep. for, for more soylent green. They um they are put inside one of those trucks using uh-huh. like a digger thing. Mm. Yeah. Um when when they fell in, like what 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 happened then? Did did, did you, are you just unable to climb out? Did you not watch the, the film? Do you know do you know what happened? No 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 to the no, no. I know what happens, <laughs> but what I'm saying is like at that moment, at that moment when mm, they've been yeah. the, these alive people have been mm. put into the truck. back into the truck. Yeah, why didn't any of them climb well, out? Well, actually, mm. the surrounding inside bit is just coated with lube, just just they, lube they're just everywhere. Slipping everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a slip and slide in there. It's actually a pretty fun time. It, it's a pretty it, fun, it's time. A fun time. All right, and that's why people don't leave, not because they can't get out, no. because they don't want to. They just have a great time. I've dropped a plate. Fuck it. Sandro, um, I think I think you think they maybe get arrested, maybe. Yeah, Although yeah. Although we yeah. never see the prison. We don't, in this we don't movie. see what we don't see what happens. No, after. No, I just presume they go to where all the other bodies go. In this oh, I see. Yes, That's yes. Also, what I thought as well. Yeah. But yeah, maybe there, there's like some meat grinders in the. Um, okay, that that's that Whoa. makes sense. I'd like to see that Whoa. actually. No, I wouldn't yeah. actually. Just that's fucked. People up. are just kind of put in there. Um, non. This is hard to do non spoilers for. You know what I liked? What did I you liked like? some of the the blood. I love the blood in seventies movies. <laughs> it, it looks smash. it looks it looks like uh, the spaghettios, but you've taken the spaghettios yeah, yeah. out. I just, love that. <laughs> we uh, just recently reviewed uh, Friday the 13th, I believe the 8th movie. Number 8, yep, yep. Yep, um, on our Patreon. Ooh, yeah, check it out, it's out now, patreon.com. And there is definitely just like tomato sauce slash <laughs> yes. red dye thrown everywhere. Well, I would say in this movie it was strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, yeah, because they couldn't have used strawberry jam as the blood, because people would have been able to see <laughs> strawberry jam, and then, yeah, they would have had to use something else specifically. That's, That's true. Funny. Yeah. No, I, I quite like a lot of this movie. I think it's pretty good. I do like how they blame the scientists for wrecking everything. They do. That was mm. pretty fucked. Well, Science it is went me- too far. Because <laughs> it is meant to be like a corporation runs the world. And mm. Yeah. The Soylent Company. So, of course, they wouldn't blame capitalism or they no. wouldn't blame other companies they'd be like those damn scientists yeah fucking up our world i thought that was really interesting thought that was good i'm gonna say it i think that might be propaganda mm. whoa yeah yeah that's A right bold take i know i that's know huge. i'm really stretching here but i think it might just be propaganda yep. and actually the company was bad oh Ooh. that's pretty controversial yeah right? it's pretty controversial and I mean, what and what is soil and grain though not the spoiler, <laughs> but is it because it it looks crisp? It does. It's oh, it a looks crisp delicious. chip. But like when the well, it's meant to be like a solid block of plankton, right? Yes, that's that's how they advertised it. Was they were like condensing plankton into these little like cracker pieces? Yes, so people could essentially just eat pure condensed. But when like the krill. when the police chief is having the the red one, Soylent Red, he's, yeah. he's sitting on the desk. It kind of looks like chewy. It mm. kind of looks like yeah, well, like a kind of toffee. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. yeah. I, I'd say so. It probably has that sort of consistency because of all the condensing together, right? Mm, they, yeah. they might add something to it, like some sort of weird chemical that gives you cancer in 30 years but Maybe. like congeals it all together <laughs> it's probably a good thing though because then you die in 30 years and then overpopulation is pretty you know, yeah, solved yeah. in that case whoa, yeah. Yeah. whoa. They're, they're doing killing pretty... people to solve population they would never Sandro <laughs> how dare you accuse yeah. them of such a thing but yeah because soil and green is plankton we, we don't know what makes up the other soil and products obviously the original probably is soy Mm. Have, you, have you ever had hardtack before? What's hardtack? Hardtack. It's literally what it sounds like. It's just like a solid piece of cracker. Uh, it's like really okay. hard. It's Ooh. it's what you make for like survival situation when you're out oh, camping. Oh, like you know, MREs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I imagined it was. It was like this super tough, carb-dense yep. thing that you'd have to like gnaw on to get anything out. 
That's what I imagined. But maybe the red ones are more luxury and they're more chewy, you know, easier to digest. Mm. Do you guys... Do you guys want to eat some? Would you... (laughs) If you were offered... (laughs) If I was offered Sterling... Well, I don't want to get into... The right now. Yeah, no, no, no. We can't I don't do that. Necessarily have an issue with the ideas in this oh movie. Oh my god! Just the way they go about doing it. I forgot. I forgot <laughs> how insane my version of Sandra in my head was. That's true. That's an insane thing. We should probably just jump into spoilers. We probably should. I'm having so a look. Talk about these. Have a look at some fun facts here. Ooh, okay. Um, I oh, we should mention a couple a couple credits. This was directed by Richard Fleischer. Who Zach directed Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea? Oh, that was yeah, really that was good. One. From from last year, we did did that one last year. That he also did Conan awesome. the Barbarian, which is very funny. That um. one is great, but also more misogynistic than this one. Mm. Yes. Uh, the movie is based off a novel called Make Room, Make Room, which, funnily enough, was based in 1999. Ah, so they decided nice. to pump up that year a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they were like, pump oh, we need to add a couple of years on this bad boy. Yeah. I'm always like, with movies, particularly in the 80s, movies that have a date for mm-hmm. when sci-fi shit's going to happen Yeah, is always interesting. 2015. It's like 2015. Yeah. <laughs> 20... In the distant, this. distant future of 2009. <laughs> Exactly. It was like The Running Man was like 2016 or something yeah, like that yeah, as well. Yeah. 2001 Space Odyssey, obviously, all that oh, sort of stuff. Oh, Back to the Future as well. Yeah, we, we 2015. That one. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember that. That was a big thing. I want to know who makes that decision. Who who sits oh, down, or is it just guy. like a side thought? I got a few a few cheeky facts. Yeah, some, oh, some, yeah? some cheeky facts. So, Roy Jensen, the assassin man... Guy playing Assassin Man, his lines <laughs> were all man. dubbed. I f- uh, noticed yeah, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that there, early on. Yeah, there was one scene where it was like really bad, the dubbing and like yep. the guy's movements. In the other scenes, I couldn't really notice it, but there was one scene. I think it's when him and the like cop are talking together mm-hmm. in the one mm. room, and they sort of like moving around the room. But then I didn't notice it throughout the rest of the film. Mm. But that one scene, I was like, ooh. I think as well, he said something with such a Canadian accent. Yes. And I was yeah. instantly <laughs> taken out of it. <laughs> Which was great. Well, one of the fun facts. Other fun facts. Well, this is this one's not very fun, oh, but no. this is just like, um, this was Edward G. Robinson's last movie. Oh, yeah. He plays Soul. Soul, the old man. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Lovely, sweet old man. Yeah, yeah. He was what 101 a... in this, though. Yeah. Like, he was an wow. old bloke. He's wow. an old dude. Charlton Heston bought him wines and cheeses. because <gasps> That's Pog. Because he knew he was dying. So he was just like, have some cheese, my man. Aww. That's that's awesome. They literally... he And then in the movie, he just eats apples and jam and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Damn. That's good. That's and good. that was improv too. That oh, that really? um that eating scene I've I've read somewhere on oh, IMDb. Yeah. It's improv. Okay. Um that's really interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. Ooh. I think as well his final scene in the movie is the final thing he ever shot. As well, yes. Which was really good. Cool. I think that's really good. Kind of oh, beautiful. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. Also, so Edward G. Robinson and Charlton Heston, they met before on the Ten Commandments. Mm. Oh, yes. there you go. Everyone's favorite. And um, Edward G. Robinson was going to be, it will, did some test footage for Planet of the Apes as Dr. Zayas. Ah. Uh, we do love a bit of Planet of the Apes. We, I keep trying to make Sandra lo- watch more of them. Well, we we've watched s- like four. We've seen one, the Mark Wahlberg one. Yeah, oh. the best one. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go through the proper ones at some point, but... Mm. Maybe that that'll have to be a series. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, on like some sort of separate like place separate where you thing. can go and subscribe up and listen to <laughs> yeah. bonus episodes. Or maybe next year month. on the show we do uh, our gimmick is we just watch fr- like franchises. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah that could, that could fran- be good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. could work. We get so sick of them. <laughs> yeah. But you'll get into the Matt Reeves ones, and it'll be fun. I love the Matt Reeves ones. Yeah, yeah, I love the Matt Reeves yeah. ones. Anyway. The guy playing the priest, he's in a movie called Amiga Man, which, oh. well, 
uh, star Charlton Heston. Oh, ah. wow. Charlton yes. Heston just loves going back to the same he people. He bloody does. Over and over again. And Amiga yeah. Man, of course, being the movie equivalent of I Am Legend. Oh. Mm. But yes. I Am Legend is a movie. Though. I Am Legend is a movie with Will Smith. <laughs> with yes. a great ending that with, they changed from the original. With at least two endings. Yeah. Yes. yes. Speaking of m- multiple endings, I want to just maybe rattle off some movies that I... That that Soylent Green reminded me of, Ooh. then you two can react to whether or not I'm based on that opinion. Oh, oh boy. Or more likely, cringe. Blade Runner. Uh, based. Because it's the same It's the same movie, but Beautiful. with different yep, plot yep, points. Yep, yep, based. The Tears and Rain speech. That's, for fuck's sake. Another Sandra, plate. Stop throwing plates around. We did this last year, Sandro. Robocop. Based. Based. Mm. Yes, we watched Robocop on the, the on show. The and that, that's a great movie. That is yeah. a great Robocop movie. Robocop surprised me how great it was. Robocop's you know? fantastic. I feel like Robocop, like, not necessarily the themes, but definitely the the way New York looks in this <laughs> and the way mm. New York looks in yeah. Robocop. Well, Very the, similar. the theme of a corporation taking over the world, mm. you know, it it has similar themes. Mm-hmm. It's funny that Paul Verhoeven's actually really religious. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How funny. Because all these movies are either, like, a Robocop and Starship Troopers, or they're all just sex yeah. films. <laughs> they're all just sex films. He's a great director. I like him. I mean, have you read the Bible? That stuff's steamy. That's true. Whew. I don't have any, any, any of the movies you bring up. What? I we had I like two movies. Yeah, I had two movies. Can't be done. <laughs> he he just wants to quit now so he can just be based and we don't say cringe <laughs> for any of this. Um, Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> Fuck cringe. yeah. No. Cringe. Base. <laughs> what about I love it. Dune? Which one? The 2000 miniseries on sci-fi that I'm the only one who's watched. <laughs> uh, only one I, I don't know whether cringe or base actually. Know. But if you said David Lynch, it was going to be based. Yes, it would be. <laughs> because both movies were cheap. That's why. And base. And Sting was in it. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. What's some other fun facts? Was that all your fun um, facts? We've run out of fun we've facts. We've run out of fun facts. It's time to get Oh, actually, no, 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 no. There's another fun fact. Oh, my God. Okay. One more Edward G. Fact. Robinson was almost totally deaf. Oh, oh, my goodness. So he was doing things through just, like, saying them and hoping that he got the rhythm right, and he wouldn't know when the director would say cut. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, let's rate it and move on to some taglines. Uh, I'm giving it a goodie. Goodie? Yeah, it's, mm. it's pretty obviously a goodie from me. Goodie! Cool. <laughs> That's another goodie? Yeah. And I'm going to give this a solid goodie as well. Um, Three goodies across the board. Good. Uh, taglines, these are from IMDB, thumb up or thumb down from both of you for these taglines. Go on. What's the secret of Soylent Green? Uh, uh, it's not... I'm gonna give it a, a midi thumb. That's a, that's a down. It's, that's a down it's, to you? It's, it yeah. doesn't mm. entice me. Doesn't okay. entice you, yeah. To me, it makes you be like, oh, this movie's got a twist in it. Yeah. yeah. Which is like, if, why... You but know, this if that's what this one has aged the worst out of all the yeah. taglines, I bet you. We all know what the twist yeah. is. <laughs> secret Ooh, could be anything. What's the twist? Yeah, everyone knows the twist. Could be gonorrhea. That's oh, the secret. That that's the, the secret. Twist. All right. <clears throat> People need it in the year 2022. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that's a... Tracy. That's a... Yeah, that's a... That's a... That's a... Movie. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. Thumbs I don't know up. Why. Yeah, this I'm a hoe. <laughs> this this intrigues me because I yep. don't know what this means. No, me neither. Me this neither. would make me Google the movie. <laughs> what do people need? What do they need? What do they need? What do they need? This is the best tagline. Ooh, and the last one as well. <clears throat> it's the year 2022. People are still the same. They'll do anything to get what they need, and they need Soylent Green. Ooh. Double thumbs up. <laughs> Huge. That's a winner. These these taglines seem very horny. They um, are, aren't they? <laughs> seventies man. It's a weird yeah, time. that's true. That's true. I'll also give this a thumbs up. That, Hell that, yeah. that is a fun one. I like that one. Hi, I'm Sally McSeller, and as an American, I love when horror franchises come to my hometown of New York City. And oh boy, is that what the Friday the 13th franchise did? Yes, yes it is! In Jason Takes Manhattan, which is number 8 
and Sandro and Zach from Oldie Buddy Goody have gone and bloody reviewed it. Oh, for a while did I say bloody? I'm an American. Anyway, here is a clip for your ear holes. They all escape the boat. They get in a life raft. They go to New York, and Jason, he follows them the whole way. Now, Zach, do you think that Jason swam, or did he walk across the bottom of the ocean like Pirates of the Caribbean? Ah, uh, I imagine he um, he had, like, a boat above <laughs> yeah, him, he and he's doing boat. the exact... He doing the exact scene from Pirates of the Caribbean where he like walks on the water but with a boat for oxygen. <laughs> boat on top of him. Yes. While yes, Jason doesn't spend that much time in New York in the movie Jason Takes Manhattan, I do have to say that there is some good New York action in there and the boys really did a damn good job reviewing it. And you can get that episode over at patreon.com forward slash oldie but a goodie pod with one bonus episode a month and all the ad-free episodes of the main show that you can swing your American-loving hat at. That's right. I'm an American, and I'm from New York. Lord drop. Woohoo! All right, spoiler alert. We're getting into spoilers. Spoilers? That's right. Planet of the Apes was actually Earth all along. Whoa! Whoa. That's right. It was actually everyone on the Orient Express. They're all responsible. Oh, my, my God! God. Dumbledore dies. Um, <laughs> the sandworms make the spice. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Uh, space Rick? Jihad. <laughs> space Jihad. Paul sucks, actually. That's the whole point yes. of the book. No one got it. Um, you missed the point if you idolized Rich Sanchez. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim's the worst bloke ever. He's terrible. Yeah, he's bad. We hate him. Um, Elijah Wood is a handsome man. And Soylent Green yes, is made yeah, out of... Yes, he is. Yeah, he yeah. is, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fact. It's a fact. Soylent Green is people. That's <gasps> no! that. Whoa! What? what? Fuck. Holy gee. And here's my thing. I'm I'm okay with this. I'm Whoa. okay oh. with this. Oh! This is a very based take, I think. <laughs> uh, but, like, if you're old yeah. and you're like, I want to die, get euthanized, that's fine. Get turned into food. Why not? If I was an old person, I would kill myself to be made into food if there was nothing left to do. However, the fact that this is run by corporations <laughs> yes. and the fact that you can't have a funeral kind of fucked up. Yeah. But the general idea here I think is really interesting, which is what I like about, about this movie is like the post-apocalyptic world and the stuff they bring up like Soil and Green as people. I'm like, that's fine. I'm okay with this. There's no animals left me as well. But the way that that is being made is the problem and it's all about yeah. how how corporations suck and those scientists ruined everything as per mm. usual that's my hot take What's science went too to far you, I, you're goddamn right I cannot wait for 40 years to me to bring up this so that I can turn <laughs> you, you into a fucking cracker I'm 60 <laughs> yeah, yeah you're 60 it's like I don't want to die yeah but I'd rather years be <laughs> I, think, I think I'd be jerky if I could choose anything oh yeah you, like any, you like, like to be life. dried yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, feel yeah, that yeah, I feel yeah. that I feel like <laughs> you get the most yeah. out, of, out of it, you know? We'll take you to the coma, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I'm like, his shock is interesting because I'm like, he's so shocked and outraged at what this is, and everyone is shocked yeah. and outraged at what this is, which is fair enough, but also, I mean, like, fair. you know, he's gonna get worst. inside a truck. Because yeah. this, here's the problem, right? They haven't told the public, and it's like a situation where it's like, the rich are turning the poor into exactly. food. Exactly. It's not like everyone, when they die, they, you know, sign this consent on, you know, everything, and then you know that if you're eating this, you're eating people, but you've not got much of a choice. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, you can still choose that sort of thing. Mm. Open knowledge. No, they've decided to go the other route. It's and a I think secret. And misinformation. And it's yeah. all poor people that are being turned into food, I would hate mostly. To, I hate to agree with you, Sandro, mm. but... I did say earlier on that I did want to try and eat some Soylent Green. Like, I really wanted, like watching you this did. film, I was like, I was wondering, what is the texture? What's the flavor? Hmm. Yeah. Um, well, Jacques. It's meant to be, mm. But that's the thing is like, it's meant to be plankton. Yes. Do you think it's flavored to be plankton? Yeah, I think that's what they've done. Oh, that doesn't sound they, very good. Uh, I think they originally started out with plankton and then rapidly ran out and they were like, well, shit. Whoops. Uh, dead bodies then, I guess. Is it salted? 
I'd say so. Probably. Or you have to salt it yourself. Well, because it's, it's, it's plankton, right? So it yeah. comes from the ocean. So it's going to be naturally salty. So they, I think they just salt it a bit. Mm. I, you know what? I take it back. I don't think they flavor it as plankton because no one would remember what plankton tastes like. I was like. going to say that. I'm like, you they don't could have just, to. They could just flavor it whatever. I exactly. read somewhere that it's soy and lentils. Soy and lentils. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because right. They soy lentils. Soy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing, though, is like, is that what the original Soylent product was? Is soy and lentils? Yeah. Or is green meant to also be that? But they're just yeah. using plankton to make something that tastes that way? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think it was a version of their thing. Because we see the red ones We as do. Well. Yeah. Which and yellow, which is made out of pea. That's what they don't tell you. <laughs> oh, that, they don't tell wow, you. Wow, Ooh, I didn't know that fact, Sandra. That's, that's fun. Like the sequel. <laughs> Oh, that's, oh, the, that's... The, the unreleased sequel. And red is made out of peppers. Oh. Whoa. Don't know how they got peppers. The only plant to survive. Is this your nice. fan fiction on Archive of Our Own? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, um, they, funnily enough, this does remind me of Dune. Mm. Because when someone dies, they, like, wrap up their body and to, like, preserve their water or whatever. They do do that. That's true. And other things like that. So it's a similar case to that where it's like, yeah, if you die... You should be, you know, preserved and and your resources redistributed. But maybe, maybe eating people bad. I'm going to throw this out here. Huge. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's maybe a bad. Zach was very glad do. about this situation. <laughs> yeah. Be like, oh, thank God, someone's against eating people here. <laughs> I was getting real nervous under the collar. <laughs> but I mean, if there's no food left. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting hypothesis. Yeah. Sandro, uh, pro uh, cannibalism. I am pro cannibalism <laughs> if all the animals and plants are dead. <laughs> that's pro the big cannibalism. <laughs> the big, that's the big thing there. Uh, uh, yeah, that scene as well. Speaking of like, they wouldn't know what plankton tastes like. So why, why would you flavor it like that? The scene where what's his name? He makes a steak, and they're eating it, and they're like, "Mmm, this steak's so good." They did make it into a stew, so my issue is fine with this, but, Mm -hmm. like, steak doesn't taste very good without seasoning. True. They don't have seasoning to make this steak. They're just eating meat with no seasoning on it. They wouldn't think it would taste good. That's my that's my hot take. Well, um, that's I, that's why Thorn, like when he's tasting it, he's just like there's there's a sense of like he's not actually appreciating what Soul mm, has actually made. True, they true, they true. might still have salt there. Salt maybe. might be still a thing. I, I would argue that maybe it's more like texture of the food, right? Because mm. they've been eating these like stale cracker things for yeah. a long time, and like texture is an important part of eating food Ooh. as well, not just flavor. Yeah. So when they're eating it like an apple, right? You got that crunch, that rib. That looked delicious. I'm just saying. Did. Yeah, what, did watching them good. crunch on an apple, I was like, oh man, I could go yeah, for an apple right apple. about now. And he yeah. went for the whole thing. Yeah, it was just. <sighs> he ate the, the, he ate the core. core. Oh, I ate. I eat cores. I do that all the time. That's almost as bad as me wanting to eat people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I did that in front of my cousins once, and they went, "What the? F-? <laughs> they just never seen that." Yeah, um, waste not, one not. Sandro, you should be on board here. You're you're pro ca- cannibalism, but anti eating the core of an apple. I mean, all I said was in the <laughs> hypothetical situation of there being no food and animals, I would eat that. But right now, there's plenty of food and plenty of animals. Don't be I'm in not the same eating. house with Sandro when his fridge runs out. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> if, 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 if it takes longer than five minutes to walk to the store, you might be in danger in this Sandro's is, house. This is true. If it hits a scenario, I I hope I'm never stuck on an island with. <laughs> <laughs> but would you get on an island with Charlton Heston? Absolutely, absolutely. Would you? Would you? Yeah, he beats everyone up. Though. He does. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I'd gladly be food for that guy, just mm. not Sandra. So Charlton Heston plays Robert Thorne. Mm. He's a detective for the police, the corrupt police, obviously, and he's got to solve the murder of Simonson. Who knew that Soil and Green was people? And we find that out. The mystery Whoa. there is really. Good. I liked how it's like just a guy randomly dies. It's so procedural. He's trying to find out what happened, and mm. then it's like, oh, he was on. He was on the the board of directors at Soylent, and I like that because it's like we all know what the twist is, but we're just yeah. trying to figure out how they get to that twist. I was the yeah, interesting part. I like 
yeah, the process of him actually finding it out. I like that yeah. because there's no books anymore. There's there's no computers. There's no nothing. No one knows who works for who, right? Mm. So finding out that this guy actually worked for Soylent was a big thing. Yeah. Right? That was quite important. Whereas nowadays we could just Google someone and it'd be like, ah, so this is when their birthday is. Here's their address. Here's yeah. their, you know, all these things. And yeah, like he, he was killed by the mayor, which is mm. the governor, mm. which is quite interesting. Um, but he was killed because I guess he just found out what Soylent Green was. Or he had always known. That's what I, I was think a bit he, I think he about. Or, I think he always know, has known, but he'd like started getting more conscious about it. Mm. Yeah. Because you know, he starts going to church, right? Yeah. So yeah. clearly he's, lo- he's like, huh, maybe this is kind of fucked up. Maybe. And then he, of course, confesses to the, the thing. Oh. And they're like, oh, yeah. at this stage, they're like, okay, this guy has become a liability. Yeah. Yes. He's yeah. become thing and he knows this because when he, they come to kill him he's like yeah that checks out yeah it's yeah fair enough. i probably should be killed actually yeah. it's necessary it was with a, a wild like hook thing it was a crowbar it was, it was a, a crowbar, crowbar but like it was it didn't look like a crowbar because they were like, like a crowbar okay. to me. they needed to make it look like a hook yeah, so well, that it they, was yeah because the, the whole time they're like he was killed by a meat hook Oh, but the whole time I was like, it was just a crowbar, though. (laughs) I thought their forensics team was just bad. I mean, that's possible. (laughs) They're eating all the food. Yeah, 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 that's true. The forensics team just came in and raided the fridge as well, (laughs) along with because it's great when the cop comes in to first investigate the scene. He just immediately starts stealing things from the rich guy and stuff. Which is funny because one of the things they point out is the assassin guy just didn't steal anything. Yeah. Which is suspicious. And he's like, well, so, this place is, everything's going to get sold when anyway. When the cop, the first thing the detective does when he enters is steal stuff. You know it's going to be suspicious if no one steals things, this right? This true. He like literally like is like, all right, go grab me some booze. I need to fill this sack full of <laughs> silks and, and, and booze and soap and other things, you know? But yeah, he is the main character, this cop guy. But he also, as a person, he's pretty mean. He's oh, pretty yeah. Bad, oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Which I really liked. Yes. Uh, that element of it. He He's definitely not like a golden boy. He's not... He's... Redeeming isn't the, the word I'm looking for, but like... Endearing? No, no, no definitely that's not, not it. the word I... It's definitely not endearing. Not, no, but I mean, like, he's realistic. He's yes. not. He's not like a, just a golden boy superhero that always does the right thing no, no he's no. A, he's just a guy um That's, and yeah. he's kind of a dick he yeah. very much belongs in this terrible world yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he's grown up in it he's yes. he's never seen the fields of horses and 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 roses while classical music plays in the background That's right. you know? so sad so sad that hit me that hit me so damn yeah, hard really yeah yeah, yeah. We'll get there, we'll get there. But, um, yeah, like, the first thing he does when he goes to interrogate someone is he just punches them. Yes! Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> look, can't, whenever he asks anyone anything, he just throws them up against a wall or just, like, gets in their face and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. I like that. I like that element of it. Because um, the movie is an anti-cop, but it's also, like, cops, they're violent. Yeah. Yeah, like- no. Um, he's actually quite corrupt, I think, as yeah. a cop. You know, he steals things. He's really aggressive. Everyone, like, doesn't stop him. True. And it's not out of kindness. It's out of fear, I think. Mm. You know, they're mm. like, if I mess with the cops, they're going to beat me up. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I thought that was really interesting. Um, other stuff in this a dystopia that was interesting was the housing situation and mm. how every house comes with a wife. It's a wife. Uh, comes yeah. with, come, <laughs> oh boy. The apartment comes with a woman, which is really interesting. That's an interesting idea because mm. that means that the head of the complex is basically a pimp. Yes. Which is yep. interesting. Um, it's weird because there's like other women that are not furniture as they call them yes yes they call them but furniture. then but then there are some that are and it's weird it's weird especially the first thing like when the cop comes in he likes examines the girl and's like huh he didn't beat the shit out of you what a great guy and i was like whoa, whoa. it's not revealed but like you slowly get it that she's actually they consider her more object than person yes yes and so 
that sort of thing is like it's slowly revealed and I'm like oh I mm. see I get it that's why he's like oh you didn't get beaten the shit out of by the thing yeah because they don't respect her and I'm like oh okay. yeah and I find that interesting I think that could be a good spin-off is just focusing on a character like that yes. what happens yeah. if she rebels it's kind of like Detroit a little bit like, <laughs> yes. she's basically 100%. an android yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. she's essentially uh, an android yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, a, that's yeah. a good point Detroit become human that's right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good comparison that's a, great actually. that's a good one based um, comparison that is based another, another based, based comparison I've got so many base stuff <laughs> in this episode <laughs> this is great but yeah I found that interesting the it's not really a romance between her and Charlton Heston they no. try and do something but no, um she she, she's like... Well, she's like, hey, I feel unsafe in a house by myself, but this is also my work, but it's my house. Yeah. Just stay here. And he's like, yeah, I'm Charlton Heston. Yeah, I'm yeah. going this chick. Because <laughs> it is implied that he can have his way with anyone. And there's that moment where Martha offers sex and he's just like, no, I'm tired. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got shit to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's interesting to go to the start of it because we see Soylent Green being distributed to the masses as, like, rationed food, right? Yeah. And and people getting angry because the rations are getting smaller. You know, there's that riot scene. Yeah, That yeah, riot yeah. scene's a pretty fun Ooh. one. That was a great se- a riot um, scene. I liked when the assassin got squashed. Yes! Oh, yes. That was pretty good. That was I did brutal. cheer. Yeah, so yeah. they... Uh, we'll talk about it. It, it. People are grabbing this food. But the food is getting scarcer and scarcer, and the cops have to inform them. They like, there's going to be a riot if we tell them this. And and he's like, yeah, all right, get ready. And so then the cop announces, hey, we're closing up. You know, mm. everybody needs to leave now. And they're like, dude, it's a Tuesday. We've been here like five minutes. Why are we being kicked out? I need food. And of course, they start rioting because they need food. Yep. And then the dump trucks come in with they their do. giant. They giant, have yeah. uh, like uh, digger trowels in front of them to like dig up protesters. Yep, <laughs> put them in the back, and you know, like dump him in the tray full of lube. It's as great. Yeah, so it's yeah. it's yeah. Lube, it's lubed up and meat grinders. Yeah. I believe yeah. the cat yeah. is in there. Slippery meat, my favorite. Yum. Um, <laughs> Loopy meat, my favorite. Yeah, so you gotta get it all slippery. But um, yeah, that was that was such a great sequence. Them all just getting put in the trash. Yeah, and then so um, someone tries to shoot the the main lead guy. Yep. Keeps and, shooting other people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty bad assassin, to be That's honest. Right. Kind of his fault. And then he gets chased. Uh, till he like trips over underneath one of these giant digger devices and it just fucking flattens him like a pancake. Oh, that's right. And I was like, oof. Sucks to be that guy. Yeah. Sucks to be that guy. You you could obviously tell the cut between where they got the actor out from under there oh, and then when yeah. it was squashed, but it looked pretty good. It looks it looks I think it's I think it was terrible. Yeah, okay. Because that's what fair. a waste of human, you know? You could have turned that into like at least that's a good ten point. packets True. of spoilers. They weren't trying to kill him though. <laughs> they weren't trying to. No. They're using giant metal like digging dump trucks to <laughs> yeah. to like move protesters. I think there's some malice in there. I think and he's not the only casualty of True. this, you know? Mm. I'm just going to throw it out there. They do do a lot of the overpopulation stuff, though. Zach, what, they do. what did you think of how there's just people... On the stairs! On the stairs. Yeah. Oh. Just like fucking Willy Wonka. <laughs> just what like Willy people? Wonka. Cringe. Cringe comparison, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, remember when Grandpa Joe s- sang that song like "Don't Don't Believe in Yourself"? Fucking Grandpa Joe, <laughs> what a bitch! What a bitch! Oh, I Fuck can't that guy. work. Oh, I'm too old. Oh wait, we won a ticket. It's dancing time, boys. I wonder if they explain Grandpa Joe's origin in Wonka. Now I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> Sure. Now I do too. You've, you've convinced me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go watch Wonka. Let's go watch this. Wonka. I'll pass. But yeah, what did you think of all the? <laughs> what did you think of all the overpopulation? Oh, oh man, that was it was intense. Just like watching Thorn try and just tr- like trudge up the stairs every yeah. single time oh, he yeah, went home. He, like has to like climb over people because there's just people sleeping on the stairs and everything. And I'm like, oh. And mm. one time, just uh, the woman who was tied to a child just fucking died. Oh, so he had yeah. to grab the child and take 
no, take that, the child that, to that the church. Because she was clearly going to the church to try and give the child. Yes. She couldn't take care of it. Right? Yeah, exactly. And what happened is they, they tied to the child so she didn't lose the child. Yeah. And like the massive crowds of people that there are because there's just like, they're like sardines in the street. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, she just dies. So he has to like untie this kid from his dead mother and take her in. I'm like, whoa. Sucks for that kid. Sucks yep. for that kid. That's true. Then Sucks is a waste of that, mom. You that, know, that shitty mom church. Made into like 15 bags of Soylent Green. I'm just That's saying. true. Yeah. You're making yeah. some great so points. So much wastage in this film. I'm just the saying. produce, my man. Yeah. The produce. Yeah. That was the sad bit. This is true, yeah. Well, because is Soylent Green just people who die, like just old people who are youthful? I don't, I don't think so. I, I think know. it's anybody Everyone. they can get in those trucks, mm. right? So I think... You get protesters, you get uh, political adversaries, yeah. you get s- cops that dig in too much into an investigation about a really rich guy that died in under mysterious circumstances. Yep. You get all of the above, you're chucking them in the pot, you're, you're popping out some Soylent Green, it's a good time for everyone. That's right. <laughs> everyone. Every single person. Except maybe cops. True. But yeah, the amount of extras on the street, on the stairs, in the church as well. Oh yeah, the church uh, was good. for the riot Ooh. scene. That's mm. a lot of extras. That in the is, movie. yeah. And I I read that it's all um at the the back of the MG MGM. Oh um, right, okay. Yeah, like the the second studio, I think, right. at the the back lot. Oh, yeah. okay. All of it was shot there. There was a point, though, when I think he's walking down the street, and I was like, this doesn't look like a real street. And my partner was like, yeah, it's MGM. It's on set. Yeah. They never use on-set locations. Yeah. yeah. Which I, is true. I, I did yeah. love the map painting when he's running to... It just looks real pretty. It I was look like, pretty. that's a nice yeah. map painting. Yeah. When was that? When he's running towards the facility? The facility, yeah. 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 When he's oh, running towards yeah, the facility. Yeah, yeah. That, that one shot. Is really mm. nice. Where Saul is has gone. Yeah. Yeah. But no, like the the movie is cheap, but it doesn't look super cheap. But when the riot helmets were just football helmets that were painted over. <laughs> hey, yeah, but also maybe they don't have riot helmets. Maybe, maybe, maybe they yeah. literally the, the police department can't afford them. They literally take whatever. Well the police department also scraps. Like they're yeah. getting scraps for doing that. So, their so job. here's the thing, right? So maybe that's actually just realistic that they're like yeah, we can't actually give you any protection, so uh, mm. make it yourself. Mm. You know? Yes. But yeah, this whole time, uh, Sol is doing research into what's going on. Yes. He's doing research into what's, what is going on. He's staying at Thorne's house. Yes. Because Thorne, because Sol wants to go and kill himself, basically. This whole movie, Sol's well, like... Um, 100%, yes. I'm old, I'm done, I want to leave. I don't know if at the start of the film he wanted to kill himself. He says a line, he's like, I need to go home, and go home is die. Yeah, okay, that's fair. So he says that from the start. Well, maybe he doesn't know what that is, though. Well, yeah, know. no, no, I think you're right. I think you're right, he, he does. But he's more like... He less wants to kill himself, more like, this world is shit. Oh, yeah. I hate this world. Because he's he's so old that he remembers the world before mm. it turned into this post-apocalyptic nightmare That's of right. the world, you know? I quite like that, how, yeah, he's, like, fondly remembering everything. I like as well how, like, his character was meant to be born in the 50s? So yeah. this taking place in the 70s would have been interesting because the core demographic of people going to see this would have been in their 20s, would have made, which would have meant they were born in the 50s. Right. Like, yes. Oh my god. Oh. That's yeah. crazy. I thought that was really interesting. That, like, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a good, good take actually. It's good attention to detail. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I but, like yeah. that. And yeah, he he helps out by being able to read which is yes. A, yes. a skill that is more scarce. Um, and it's funny because when he meets up with other people that can read, they're all old people. That was yes. a great that The scene, place yeah. where everyone, like, all these books and other things, it's all old people because they're the only ones who know how to read. Yeah. Which is crazy. And there are women there. Oh my what? god. And they're, they're in... not furniture. Yeah. What? That's the only no, the female character who who isn't just an object. Yes. Uh, well, there's that scene, the, like, party with all the women in it. Where all the... Oh, no. They're, they're all weren't. furniture. Oh, yeah, you're furniture. right. It's a furniture party. Wait. And then all the others are just extras. There's a nun. In line. Oh, yeah. And then there's piles of extras in the street. But, yeah. yeah. You know what? Everybody who talks on screen, except for maybe the nun. Mm. Yeah, all of them are furniture. Wow, mm-hmm. that's crazy. 
That's wild. Big oofed. But all those old people are meant to be the supreme exchange. Is that yes. the supreme court? That must be the lawmakers or something. I'm not sure yeah, what they are. I think are. that is, yeah. I think they're meant to be, yeah. Which is interesting that this world is so controlled by corporations that politics is just a bunch of old people in a library. <laughs> yeah. This is very interesting. Well, they're not in a library in our world, but... <laughs> but yeah, he goes to them, they read a bunch of... Books that reveal that the oceans obviously are dying, which means that they can't make so soil and grain out of plankton. And mm, then that's odd. I guess he makes the revelation himself. He's like, "Oh, that means," and then cut to the next scene or something, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. That was a bit. Well, silly. he 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 goes to the facility, right? Or not? Soul? No. So no, I think Soul. That. I think Soul talks with the the. The group, right? Yeah, but do they all learns... figure it out, or does he? Just... I think I think they know, but don't have any evidence. Mm. That's, yes. that's the thing, right? I think that's the problem. That's why he's like, "Go tell them," and that's why at the very end of the film, he says, "I have evidence. I have seen it." Mm. Right? That's um, Soylent Green is people. That's that's the line he says at the end of the film, which leads me to believe. The thing they needed was evidence, right? Yes. Yeah, Before yeah, yeah, they could yeah, yeah. do anything. The Supreme Council, they know. They know what's happening, but they can't do mm. anything because they have no evidence. They, they just need evidence. And whenever anyone finds out, they go crazy. So they're, 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 it's impossible yep. to get any evidence. They go home. They go, they go home. home. Which, oh. which is what Solomon does. He goes home. He fills out a form. And then he is killed. In that scene, which was pretty good. It, it was, was pretty good. good. Wow. He watches that a bunch a of B-roll yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of, of nature. He watches a nature documentary. I like the classical music. I was like, damn. Yeah, we were joking about that while watching it. He picked classic because they, they ask you, what's your favorite sort of, yeah. of music? And he says mm. it's classical. I was like, what if your favorite sort of music was trap? What if you were like, <laughs> what if you were like, wow, bum, 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 you're gonna die now. Bum, 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 what if you were like, I like hard style. Can we yeah. have some hard style? Please? I like hard style dubstep nightcore remix, please. Yeah. I like German industrial. Oh, yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. And goblin core is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Gremlin core. I like a Aussie rap. Oh. <laughs> give, me, give me that Aussie rap. I like crap. Core. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think there's a there's a genre of metal called egg core. Egg oh, core. Okay. Right. That J- exists pretty good. You got a uh a J pop, you got the what's it? Uh the baby metal. Baby metal. Baby Woo! metal. It's a good yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Well, there is something I have seen. I've seen uh online uh, But you've seen something? I've seen something seen, with my shit. eyes. Seen too much. Seen stuff. I have evidence. Oh no. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um basically what I saw was Soul's Death scene, but they changed the song. Oh, it no. was um how to Disappear Completely by Radiohead. Ooh, nice. And it was Ooh, just, nice. it it hit just as hard. That's I was pretty, like, oh. Yeah. Ooh. That was pretty good, yeah. So, Sandro, what would you pick to play? What, what would, would I pick? Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe like a 40 minute long song. So yes! <laughs> as long as possible. I'll do that. Do that. that. Tubular Bell. Yes! The yeah. part one. Part yeah. one's better than part. Parts. Really? The yeah, part yeah, one yeah, is yeah. better than part two, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Say specifically, I need specifically both parts. Both parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, like with part one, because you, you got the part from the Exorcist, and then it kind yeah. of leads into the, the. I in particular, I quite like the groove that kicks in in eighteen minutes. Oh my yes, favorite part of Tubular Bells. <laughs> Um, okay, oh, so no, you no, no, needed no, no, no. tubular bells, but the eighteen minute part <laughs> play that on loop Just that for like particular for like section twenty minutes. Now okay. my my pick would be the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album Nonagon Infinity because it just repeats on itself constantly. Therefore, meaning I would just stay there. The song would never end, so they can't kill me. You would be immortal. Whoa. I would I would be immortal, you constantly watching nature be roll for the rest of my life. Nonagon Infinity opens the door. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd pick classical. I think that's a good choice. <laughs> pick classical. <laughs> no, no, you'd pick the uh, the Space Jam theme song. Oh that's hell, hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Hell I, do, yeah. I, do, I do like the Space Jam thing. That's <laughs> yeah. Everybody get up! It's time to slam now. What would your go-to song? <laughs> My go-to be? song, like you've already picked um, Tubular Bells. I kind of want Tubular <laughs> Bells, but only part one because I don't want to die to like caveman. You know, like everyone knows. Wicked, 
fuck him up. <laughs> and then you just like, <laughs> fuck, why oh. did I pick this? Dies. No, I'd pick uh, Old Star by Smash Mouth, obviously. Oh, hell yeah. That would be the best way to go. Uh, uh, that's a good one. So he's died. Um, Thorn has snuck into the place where he has been killed, and he's like, I'm going to find it a follow the body yeah so he follows the body and sees through a very long series of him watching random people do their job which was great i did i made a note at one point where i think he's sneaking through one of the conveyor belts and i'm like yeah. where is everyone yeah <laughs> where is everyone and then two people comically just like come onto yeah, screen yeah, i'm like yeah. there they just are the, yeah yeah there they are but yeah um, no, yeah, he finds out that Soil and Green is made out of people, and then he has to go on the run. He trips over some bins. He trips over some That's bins. true. Oh yeah, he kills two innocent factory workers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> innocent factory workers. Yes. Oh look, they were just doing their jobs. I, I, that's at, a base take. I agree. At, at, at the factory where they murder people for food, you know, they were just doing their jobs. Don't ask true. me. I just work here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I quite like that action sequence. It's pretty good. It's a good show. I do. And there's no dialogue because mm. they didn't want it to be an action movie. That's right. Mm. There's no dialogue and no music either. Yes. Nothing. Yeah. It's good. I, I like how he like goes to the phone, frantically calls, and then you see the people coming for him and he's like, oh shit, please come and help me. Yeah. Hangs up for him. Yes. That's it. And then he's just running, you know? Yeah. That's, that's all he can say. There's no phone booths. Either. Mm. There it's, are no phone, but where's the free Telstra phone booth? There's no free Telstra phone booths. I'm outraged. This, <laughs> this is the this is the straw that broke the camel's back. You're fine with cannibalism, but no phone booths. There are no phone booths. Inhumane. Do you, do you use phone booths in your regular day to day? Of course. It's 1974. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> you are. You are just a bit of my conscious in a coma. That so has never that seen Teenage Mutant Ninja that's Turtles. True. That's true. There's no true. such it's thing never as comas. It, Eastman doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> they are turtles who were in the sewers of New York uh-huh. and a radioactive waste port on them. And then they turned into to talking turtles. Whoa. And then they were adopted by a disgusting rat man. <laughs> Who made them fight? I bet his name's Splinter. It he is. sounds like a Splinter. It is Splinter. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Except in other stories where the toxic waste isn't a thing, but we won't get into that. But anyway, <laughs> oh, when they were experimented on. Yeah, when they're experimented on. Yeah. yeah. In everyone's favorite movie series. Anyway, they were um, experimented on in the new one. The new one was really good. Ah, the new one was really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, not important. <laughs> uh, right now, he runs into the church. He goes to tell. The priest, what's going on? Oh, he's, is, the priest already no. At this so, point. so earlier on, he uh, he talks with the priest who is just like shaken, yeah, yeah. because he's been confessed to about the Soylent Green as people, yeah. So but he can't tell anyone because of the confidentiality, yeah. So he's just kind of wrecked as a human being. Yeah. So he's wrecked. But at the very end, we do get Thorn in the church, and the, yeah, oh yeah, and the podcast he, just like shooting random people. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, so the the priest gets killed off mm. because he knows too much and then later on yeah essentially he's just running away from the bad guy and just so happens to go into the same uh, church yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. knocks down all or, the beds or, or purposely <laughs> runs into it because it's full of people right I mean yeah but then he gets yeah. all his people killed so yeah. yeah but it's established he's not a good person that's so. true yeah. He doesn't just, just knock over people's beds with them in them as well, as you said. That's true. Yeah, he was getting so punched in the face at the time, <laughs> yeah. so I might forgive him for that one. But, Zach, how does the movie end? Well, it ends with his arm in the air. <laughs> uh, that, that doesn't work for a podcast. Um, <laughs> visually, he put visually. his arm in the air. Visually, he put his arm in the air and he yelled, It's people, it's people, it's people. Soil and green, green is, is people. people. Oh my god. And it's not clear whether anyone actually believes him. Mm. I doubt it. Yeah, he, he's raving, he's been shot, um, yeah. he's clearly about to die. Yeah. No one, no one's going to trust that. No. But a rumour might start from it, you know. Yeah. Like a rumour system, you know. So Maybe. This, this crazy guy was yelling about how Soil and Green is people. <laughs> Can you yeah. believe that? I don't know. I feel like all of the people who would have heard him, and maybe this is a problem with the movie. Everyone in this movie is just NPCs, aside from 
the couple main characters. Yeah. So yes. They, aren't, they don't really also... show any revolutionary attitude at all. Well, there is the riot. There is the riot. And but... he does tell the the chief cop guy. Yeah, is... but he's a bad guy. Though. Yeah, but he's yeah. corrupt. So, yeah. But it's left sort of ambiguous as to if anything comes of this mm. or if the regime stays on. My thought is that it starts like a rumor or something okay. that like you got a bit hard. eventually leads into something happening but i, like I think this. i think you're right that the like the chief cop or whatever he doesn't do anything about it he no. learns about this and then is racked by guilt and then has like a really dark scene when he retires where he's like i could have done something about this you know that yeah. sort of thing gotcha throws yeah. his gun into the ocean yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it would be interesting to see where the world of Soylent Green goes from this point onwards. Yes. Maybe in a sequel directed by Dennis Villeneuve. Oh, Blade Runner. I mean, Soylent Green. Soylent Green. Forties. Hundred three. Based. Well, it is funny you bring that up because I have a, f- I have an idea for a remake. You got an Whoa. idea for a remake? All right, all right. I think we're done with spoilers. So then let's jump over to remake. Zach, what's your idea for? A remake? All right. This is this is a, a little bit wild. Okay, all right, all right. All right. We we like wild here. We like okay, crazy. so this is not a movie. Oh, <gasps> holy! This shit. is an HBO miniseries. Oh, oh. Okay. written and directed by Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy mm. of Westworld Whoa. and Fallout Whoa. fame. Well, we don't know if Fallout's going to be good though. Exactly. I believe it. Jonathan Nolan is more talented than Christopher Nolan. That is Whoa. a fact. The more talented I, Nolan? I mean, when Jonathan Nolan stopped writing Christopher Nolan movies, those Christopher Nolan movies they're writing went to downhill yes. very very interesting. Quickly. So maybe, interesting. You maybe. might be onto something. There. Okay, I'm I'm down. I'm okay. down. I also like the idea of this as a series. Yes. I'm curious. Because I was thinking that like there could be whole episodes about different characters. Oh, yep. We yes. could have a, a furniture episode. Yeah, right. you could have a yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see this where you've got like different things that take the same space of time but different scenarios, mm-hmm, sort mm-hmm. of things. You know what's happening. How does a rich person live their life? How yes. does a furniture live their life? How does uh, a random orphan whose mum died tied to him? How does their yes. life go? You know, we have we go I inside like the church yeah. and we oh oh yeah the priest yes like all the things that he hears that could be at the end of the season yeah because that's tying the things all together yes. yeah and it's all interconnected. I really oh, like this idea. That's cool. This is a good idea, yeah, because like you could explore the world more. But then, would you do multiple seasons or just a no? Mystery? This is a, a this is ten episodes. Right. Yeah, that's okay. it, and like it ends exactly the same. No, right. no, no. But it does get a spin-off sequel that is terrible and not. Oh, of course, yeah, 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 no, that yeah, checks yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. it's called yeah, Fallout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fallout New Green. Fallout New Green. That's New good. Green. Yeah. 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 Um, like Alright, I like this, I like this. Uh, the only idea I had for a remake was um, casting for Solomon mm. was the guy who plays Thufia Hawa in the new Ooh. Dune movie. Yeah, the Dune guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was He's thinking great. Mandy Patinkin, but that's better. I okay. like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I really like him Ooh. as an actor, and I've only seen him in Dune. I think so. <laughs> I like I like near the end of the season. You could have doing one of the workers at the plant as well. Yes, who like, who like knows what they're doing, but like he has they to have, do it. He has to do it. He has to earn Churn money he, home, and then he like oh, but he hasn't told his family what he does, and so Ooh. he like he comes home and sees his kid eating Soylent Green, and he's yes. like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And he yells. He says yeah, the yeah, line, yeah. it's people. Yeah. Oh, but the yeah. but they just like, yes, it's people. <laughs> <laughs> like the walking dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this. <laughs> that's that's cool. Alright, so then we need characters. We got Solomon Roth will have Thorn again as the main character, and then yes. everyone else will just recast people who could have an episode about them. Yes. Yeah, is the hundred percent. Who, who, yeah, who's the main character then? Who's a Charlton Heston? All right, um, well, today I've been watching a show called Monsieur Spade. It's got Clive Owen in it. Clive Owen? <laughs> Clive Owen. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a bit old now, so that might be a little bit, little bit whack, but Clive Owen. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. He's in his 60s, but also I think Charlton Heston was probably in his 60s when yeah. this came out, maybe. He looked like he was. Like he looked like he was, but he's, yeah. he's still going. 
by till like the I think, 80s, I think, I think. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That comes from my original... Because before the TV idea, mm. I had the what if um, Alfonso Cuaron directed this and made everything brown. <laughs> <laughs> he made it that's all fair. brown yeah, and yeah, gray. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, like um, I want to have like... You've got the rich... You gotta have a rich guy. Mm-hmm. You gotta have the lady playing the furniture. Yeah, so we need her. Who's the actress we're getting for that? Yeah, we need furniture lady. We need maybe even the guy who's murdered can be the rich guy. We don't have a murder yeah, until yeah. Yeah. like a couple episodes in, yes. so we can focus on him a bit more. Oh, that's interesting. You could have a character have an episode on them, move on, don't mm. talk about them, yes. and then in a later episode, you come back and you just see that character's just dead. Hundred yeah. percent. Like, and it's like there was no lead up to that, no nothing. It's just like they're just dead. Well, and that would like, reveal oh, well, the problem. I think with not necessarily doing this as a TV show, but with remaking this at all, everyone knows the twist. Yes. So do yeah. we just reveal it at the start? Yeah. And then go because yes. then we could have the guy who gets murdered as the main character for the first couple episodes, and then he gets killed. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone knows the twist of Soil and Green. Yeah, it, so. it could be. It could be. Yeah, we show someone who knows this, but can't tell anyone, or is trying to figure out a way where they could tell people mm. that doesn't get them killed. Later, see them dead. I like that. That's yeah, good yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, casting for we'll go then for yeah the old guy who gets murdered. Old guy Simon who gets murdered. Sim. Um, Eric Roberts. Eric Roberts, <laughs> the master from Doctor Who the movie. <laughs> Is he still acting? Uh, he does like um, bad. <laughs> he does look like how? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he does like bad bad movies, just like you know, like um, Tubi kind of oh, stuff. No. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Um, I mean, it sounds like he wouldn't say no to the role. It does That's sound like true. he wouldn't say no to the role. Mm. Uh, we could have, we could have, what does the guy look like in the movie? Well, of course, that was the, the guy, guy who played, um, Joseph Cotton, who played Holly Martins in The Third Man. That's right, he's in The Bloody Third Man. He's in The Bloody Third Man. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So actually, maybe not Eric Roberts. Maybe not, maybe Eric, not Eric Roberts. Maybe not Eric Roberts. Um, yeah. someone, someone a little bit... Someone a little bit cooler. Could go for Ed Harris. Oh, Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright. What about Jeffrey Wrong? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like, we, if it's Jonathan Nolan, we could bring some cast over from Westworld. We could. We Jeffrey could. Wright yeah, yeah, is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is a good one. We could have uh, Evan Rachel Wood as the furniture. She'd do was, it. She I would 100%. Say, if we were doing the furniture, I was going to say Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> We should he, get he's, Daniel he's, Radcliffe. He's, he's got experience playing an inanimate object. <laughs> That's so. true. He does. <laughs> he does. I but think, on I, I think Evan Rachel Wood would do the uh, the role of Shell. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what'd be good? They have uh, male furniture as well. Of Absolutely, they do. They do. Se- sexy male furniture. Sexy male Absolutely. furniture. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel yeah. Radcliffe. Yeah. Or you get like oh, Zac Efron or something. Mm. You know. You yeah. Know. Or um. The, the the guy who's playing Superman, uh, Corrin Sweat. Um, the the TV Superman or movie Superman? Movie Superman. Uh, James Gunn Superman. Someone Corrin Sweat. David Corrin Sweat. Yeah. Uh, yep. This this man. This 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 man furniture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. No, he plays um the go to sexy guy in all of Ryan Murphy's shit. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, if yeah. we're talking sexy man, I am obliged to mention Tom Hopper. Um, mm. Oh, of course. Of course. He, that's, <laughs> o- that's only because he's my man crush. Yeah. And I, I have sure. to mention him in every episode. Do you watch every episode of Black Sails oh, just for Tom Hopper? Absolutely. No, I, I watched a specially edited and cut version where it's only the scenes where Tom <laughs> Hopper is in. Resident Evil is like two minutes long. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, <honestly>. yeah. <laughs> it's much better because it's just Tom Hopper. It's great. Such a weird choice for Wesker. Uh, it's what so, a weird it's choice. So weird. What Such are they weird doing? Choice. Oh, so, so weird. Silly. The choice in the TV show was better. That's it sucks. was. <laughs> Let's Reddick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Evan Rachel Wood as show. How did Westworld end, by the way, Zach? Okay. Did it end on a cliffhanger? What happened it there? It did end on a cliffhanger. <laughs> no, that's a shame. Um, I stopped watching nice. after season one, so um, I it. They just, I'm also similar. They're going to put people in another simulation and test 
whether they deserve to live or not, and that would have been season five. Oh, that would have been a good season five. Yeah, and they were they went back to Westworld, and it was like, oh, it's right. a western again, Gu- guys, guys. What? If Soylent Green is just a simulation, oh, or it's a test to see shit. what people do, and it's secretly in the season five of Westworld. Yeah. Brilliant! <laughs> that's that's it. It all ties together. It's one big extended universe. Uh, that's what all of them that's want. Great. All right, that means Martha is going to be played by Tandaway Newton. Yeah, mm, yep, that's that's yep. happening. That's right. <laughs> that's but it's all like a, an experiment to see what people will do if yep. they're in these situations where people are being eaten. Yeah, it's all a big that's right. future science test. We need someone to play someone on the street. Then ah yes, we've got the priest. The priest. Oh yeah, we've got the priest. We've got the priest. My thought was just like a street urchin or something. You know, someone who's just like a nobody. In oh the crowd, okay, right. You know. Because there's like thousands of these people. So not right? Tom Hopper. Uh yes, Tom Hopper. He is the sexiest <laughs> street urchin. Street urchin, yeah, for sexy, sure. Sexy, sexy street urchin. Uh for the priest, we could go for who Danny DeVito. Mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> You know, the, the the problem with Daddy DeVito is he's really funny in any role you put That's him true. in. It's true. really funny that you put Danny DeVito Rawr. in that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like he's that. a he's a street urchin, just you know, he's a he's a priest. Ah, yeah, he's a rich old man, you know, smoking a cigar. Right? He work. He's a piece of furniture. But he's like an older piece of furniture that no one wants anymore. Right? Yeah. Ooh, like yeah. you know, there's a lot of. Things where it's just funny that you put Danny DeVito in it. That's true. That's pretty good. Um, My pick for the priest would be an actor called Alfrey Woodard. I just saw her today in that show, Monsieur Spade. Oh, she appears. She that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I know her as the bad person for most of Luke Cage. Oh she my. Oh, yeah. Mariah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like that a it. lot. That's a good pick. That's a cool choice. That's a base choice, Sandra. Thank You're very like base it. today. And then, uh, for your character, the street person, yeah. who should play Tom him? Hopper. Not Tom Hopper. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. Who? Uh, you could do, um, uh, speaking of Tom's. And, and hopping around, swinging from oh, Tom Holland. Hey, I'm a little orphan. I'm yeah, a little yeah, yeah, right. He, I, I feel like I'm typecasting him here, right? <laughs> As just man child, but you know, <laughs> I don't think he'd do it. But I'm going to put him down. All right, I like um, it. Or, or the main lead in Wonka and June, right? He has uh, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, now. he's he's got a young look on him. He's he hot wouldn't on do the a block. TV show. He's though. hot on uh, the block. Yeah, no, he wouldn't do a TV show because he's too hip and he's cool. too hip and famous. Oh, he did a he did an Apple TV show. Yeah, back when he was lame and dumb. No, no, no. Recently, cool. no, no. Recently, I recently? disagree. Yeah, recently, like, because it was, uh, because Tom Holland had his, uh... Was it yesterday? Oh, wait, Tom Holland, yeah, he did do a TV show recently. Because he was having his... Yeah. He's having his, his menti B, and yeah. he was like, I need to get away from movies for a while. That's fair. And then right, he so did maybe that. We, maybe we can convince him. Tom Holland in the strip. My go-to was, um, Thomas Brody Sangster. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's another typecast into playing children. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. though he's, like, 40 years old. <laughs> yeah. I saw the first episode of The Artful Dodger. Oh, boy. Yeah. Disney was it Plus. good? No, it's fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. It's set in Australia, but no one's got an Australian accent because it's, uh, just, it's yeah, just. Oh, I hate it. Colonizing Australia. I'm like this guy. He's like, Ugh. oh, I'm, I'm a cut people up, but I'm a cool guy. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a care. cool guy. I'm, I'm making cool references guy. to Oliver Twist because this is a sequel to Oliver Twist for some reason. I'm like, cool what's guy. going on? Anyway, I think that's a pretty good remake. Yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. Who's our assassin, dude? Oh, yeah, we need an assassin. we got a lot of characters, but... There's a lot of characters. But, but it makes sense, because we've got to make, like, ten yeah. episodes, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We do. It, there, there'd be a lot of characters. And they're all um, going to be an hour long. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, ten hell. hour long movie. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, you could have it like a, you know, like an Andor situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, an assassin. An assassin. So, oh, speaking so. of Andor, he could do it, actually. Oh, yeah. Tony Gilroy. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean... He, oh, I meant the is, actor, but... Oh, okay. the, yeah. The guy who wrote Andor definitely could do this as well. Yeah. No, because uh, he does play an assassin. Or... Diego, Diego Luna. Luna. Yeah. yeah. I'm down for that. I'm absolutely down. Because he also down. works as like a bodyguard for a rich yes. guy, right? Yeah. But he's actually just this corrupt 
guy. But you actually like have some kind of like pathos and sympathy mm. for yeah, him yeah, towards yeah. the end. Yeah, you yeah, learn yeah. his situation as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We have an assassin episode. Assassin episode. Yeah. Well, I feel yeah. like because like all pretty much all these actors aside from Robert Thorne, you could only do one episode with them. They're yeah. too famous. True. Like, yeah, that, that, you know? That's the best bit about our series, right? You you only need like the guy in for like one or two episodes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Which works out really well. So I think and that's, that's great. cool because. We can see him and sympathize, but then mm. see him like beaten up by the cop, right? Yeah, 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 because he's a bad guy and he sent people after him and other things. But we can learn that he's doing this for you know his like twelve children yep. or whatever. You know, you like you give him a sob backstory to relate to. You know, that's right. Well, oh, like around. Well, there we go. That is our entire episode on Soylent Green. What a what a great remake idea! Yeah, yeah. thank you. Exactly. I'm going to take good. full credit for it because you're all in my mind. That's therefore, true. It is your I karma. Can, therefore, the part of my brain that doesn't know that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <laughs> exists came up with this entire idea. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. The comas don't exist. <laughs> comas don't exist. And I didn't see a part of your brain be given a personality <laughs> in real time. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I'm denying it. It's a great personality. Uh, speaking of that personality, though, Zachary, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Yes. No worries. Thank what's you so your much. What's your stuff? Where are you? Who are you? Who, I don't know. Who am I? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to be in uh, Shakespeare Ghostbusters. Ah, mm. oh, yep, yep. Yes, a, a project that you and I are, yes. are a part of. Uh, uh, and we're all in Zach's brains, and he's a part of it, too. Yeah. You're a part of it, too? Yeah. Yes. It makes me feel good. Oh, yes. Yep, yep. Yes. Let me just get the dates what? up for those. That's important. That is important. I should know. You should. We're know. we're about to start rehearsing soon. You're in the show. I don't know. I'm, I'm in the show. Well, yeah. you you have to do the sound. <laughs> My favorite part about this is you're going to your own <laughs> Facebook page to find out the dates for your show that I'm you're leaving this in. I'm leaving all this. <laughs> That's very funny. It's uh, Tuesday the 9th to Saturday the 13th of April mm. at the Irene Mitchell Studio. As, right. as someone who has seen Shakespeare Aliens, mm. I can officially say that these things are absolute bangers and you should go check it out. Yeah, and yes, yeah, Zach didn't get to see Ghostbusters the first time around, so no, we'll I have didn't. to come see it no, this time didn't. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on I, down. I'm fully planning to. Yeah, at the, uh, at the Melbourne Comedy Festival. I think you can get tickets at comedyfestival.com.au, I think is the Comedy I believe so, website. yes. So, that's yeah, the one. Go Very get them well. there. Um, I'm playing Winston Zeddemore. That's right. Ooh. I'm busting them ghosts. <laughs> I'm gonna shave this beard into just a mustache. Oh, oh my shit, goodness! That's bold. Yeah, yeah. It's that's it's wild. happening. And, you uh, heard it here first. You heard it here Go first. Go see a glorious mustache. There it is. There is the stash. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, it's worth the price am. of admission alone. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah, go see that show. Um, are you doing anything else? Um, I'm I'm writing a book. You're writing. A I'm book. writing a book. Uh, we're we're only eight chapters in into the writing process, yep. Yep. but um, it's called Cannibal Kitchen. Whoa! Oh my yeah. yeah. Holy shoot! <laughs> And it's so appropriate. yeah, it's no about we got you on the show. Of then. course, <laughs> cannibal expert, over cannibal here. expert over here. Um, it's about um a, a world where the uh, there is no nothing edible, right? Uh, but Whoa. people. Whoa, I know, right? I can relate to, I can relate I to this. Saw a movie that's quite similar to that. And um, you follow the butcher and ah. his journey. His journey in this terrifying world that sends him across the world and into space. All right. Whoa. Yes. That's my favorite part of any series is when they get the main character who's also from Friday the 13th and then they take him to space. Exactly. Yeah. Jason X is everyone's (laughs) favorite movie. Absolutely. (laughs) That sounds great. And links to your socials to keep up to date on that. They're all in the episode description. Check them out. That's very Uh, cool. Speaking of Jason Voorhees, though. If you like the show, you you, you want to help out patreon.com forward slash oldie buddy goodie pod because Zach, this month's bonus episode is out. It's on Jason Takes Manhattan. Ooh. Which doesn't take place in Manhattan very no. much. No. <laughs> really doesn't, does it? But the stuff in Manhattan was pretty good. Yeah. That's I the always... one where the, the, the kickboxer tries to. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, that's, that's a great scene. That's, that's probably classic. the best kill. I would I say that's the, the best kill yeah. in the movie. Yeah. yeah. That is that movie. That's up on Patreon. Our next bonus episode for March is going to be 
Ah, uh, yes. Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko 2. 2. There's, a, there's Darko. a second one? There's a second one, apparently. We it, saw the first one the other year, and now we're, for some godforsaken reason, doing the second doing the one. Second. I didn't even like the first one very much. No, Sandra, <laughs> I was on board, though, because it was timey-wimey and weird. Is it another Gyllenhaal? Like a Maggie Gyllenhaal? No, it's his sister, who's been recast, I think. It's the one who says to suck a fuck, I think, <laughs> in, the, in the original. I a don't classic know. line. She has her own adventures with Frank the Rabbit, mm. I guess. I don't even know. It looks terrible. <laughs> we'll watch yeah. it and review it on Patreon. Uh, you can also get ad-free and bonus episodes up there as well. I, I mean, I already mentioned the bonus episodes, but yeah, there's ad-free stuff there too. Um, we're on Facebook and Instagram if you want to keep in touch. Thanks to everyone who's reviewed us on every podcast platform where you can review us. Um, mm. if you haven't reviewed us, if you're on a, a podcast platform that doesn't let you review podcasts, get off that podcast platform. Whoa. Go to a different one. Whoa. Get out of here, son. Uh, review us there. That's what I reckon. What do you say, Zach? I, I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, as long as you were listening and enjoying. As know. long as we, yeah. Uh, no. As long yeah. as you press play. The, the best thing you can do to support us is keep listening and having a good time. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, drop a comment saying, where's the movie? Where's the movie? <laughs> and yeah, Sandro, the other week, he just sends me this random picture out of nowhere and I look and it's just a screenshot of this thing is saying, where's the movie? <laughs> the comment on our Hold the Ghost episode nice, nice. made me laugh. I don't know if it's someone who listens to the really, podcast. You should really... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it could be someone listening to the podcast and just pranking us. But you should really put like podcast in brackets just before each of our titles I feel. who are these yeah. people that really want to watch hold that ghost <laughs> i don't know i don't know it's oh, very all funny. the time we get those all, <laughs> all the time, the time. Hold our ghost. yeah <laughs> anyway uh zach you gotta pick next week's movie mm. which is from 1974 Ooh. 1974 and zach straight out the gate i reckon you should pick the texas chainsaw massacre yes 100 uh, percent. i love that movie but we did just do a good movie <laughs> Ah, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is great. It's gross. It's so good. It's grimy. Mm. It's also not gory at all. No, it's not. There's this scene where a, a man just drops a hammer, an old man. It's it's great. Mm. I love Money. it. It's very, it's a good movie. And what then the sequel's fucking hilarious. The sequel's amazing. It's what about Dennis Hopper's Zardos? best performance. Or Zardos. <laughs> Zardos? Z-A-R-D-O-Z. I have no idea what that is. In the far future, a savage trained only to kill finds a way into the community of uh, bored immortals Ooh. that alone preserves humanity's achievements. You know what? I'd, I'd watch that. I'd that watch one, that. That one actually sounds pretty great. Oh, what about The Man with the Golden Gun? Yes. Which I think, uh, yep, I think yep. that's Roger Moore's first... Bond film. And it's got Hervé in it. Yeah, it's Mr. Got, Chris- got Christopher Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. I don't know. That, that that could be fun, Zach. That could be fun. More James Bond. What about the Dynamite Brothers? Oh. <laughs> Which is a street fighter and martial arts expert challenging a corrupt, organized crime leader Ooh. and his murderous henchmen. That sounds fun. Ooh. It has... 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh! <laughs> double digits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, this is a movie I've always wanted to watch. Phantom of the Paradise. Oh, of course. Which is a sci-fi rock opera that's based on Phantom of the Opera, except it's a rock opera, Ooh. and it's in space, so it's also, it's also a space opera. Whoa! Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. What about for Bram that? Stroker's Dracula? Did you say Stroker? <laughs> You said Stoker. I, I, for a second, I just I, Stoker, it sounded right? like you said Stroker. Stroker? I hardly knew her. Um, <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992? Yeah. That's not 1974. No, it, says, it says 1974 right oh, there. Oh, wait, who plays him? Is that is that Christopher Lee? I don't know. Oh, Jack, Jack Palance. It's a different one, It's Sandra. a different one. It's a different one, one, one that came out this year for some reason. What about Black Christmas, which is a slasher movie... Uh, that that is very good because it's got the line the calls coming from inside the house in the movie. Oh, it's pretty good. Huge. Oh wait, no, no, no. What about Flesh Gordon? Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> e- 
Emperor Wang is leader of planet porno and sends his mighty <laughs> sex ray towards Earth, <laughs> turning everyone into sex mad fiends. Only one man can save the Earth, football player Flesh Gordon. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> Don't pick this. Stop being horny on main. Um, <laughs> Why is this in the IMDb list of best know. movies from 1970? <laughs> A, the best. A, it might be good. You don't know, Sandra. Oh, Dark Star, John Carpenter's first movie? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The Terminal Man. Oh, could be Which good. is an interesting one. There's a guy who inserts a microcomputer into his brain mm. to get rid of seizures, but it all goes wrong. He becomes a terminal. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty good. Godfather Part 2. Oh, Godfather Part 2. It's one of the best yeah. goddamn movies ever. Hey. We're, we're not film bros, though, Zach. That's true, you're not <laughs> yeah. film bros. Do you know what we did? <laughs> I actively picked frogs over The Godfather. You did. I, I, and frogs <laughs> was the worst movie I've seen in two years. Um, so, you know what? Mm. <laughs> Let's keep that streak going, I'd say. Uh, Ch- Ch- Chinatown. Chinatown's meant to be good, but it is Roman Polanski. That is true. Yeah. And that is, that is the most film not. bro you can go. Yeah. Let's not. Uh, instead, Sandro, mm. I'm thinking... Now hear me out. Ooh. Blazing Saddles That's and good. Young Frankenstein. You're picking two movies that are directed by Mel Brooks and they both star Mr. Willy Wonka. Yeah! Yes. It's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> I've never seen Young Frankenstein. It's great. I I've think I've so it. funny. I've wanted I've I've seen clips of Blazing Saddles out of context. I've never though. seen that. <laughs> Uh, so, hell yeah. This, well, because well, that's a parody of horror films, and then also a parody of westerns, which are two things we did a lot of-ish last year. So that's pretty fun. Yeah. Well, we'll do that next week, then. It's kind of awkward having someone else here. Yeah. Do I teleport us both to the next year? Well, I think or? I could probably just absorb Zach well, back into my brain. Yeah, I'm just, it's, it's all your mental illness, man. Yeah. But... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> my what now? I didn't know that this was a Screen Australia movie. <laughs> Whoa. All right, and for that comment, you're going back in here, big boy. I'm oh, pointing no. to my brain. I'm pointing to my head. I'm going back in here, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it before I could ask Zach Rose if I should let you have a break or not. Oh, you can ask him. He's in my head. No, still. We're, we're just going straight to the next year. <laughs> oh, You've lost no. your chance. Oh, no. 1974, Wait. here we go. Can we have a break? <laughs>